Welcome back to From My Living Room to Yours. I'm pretty sure most of you can relate to getting a song stuck in your head. And you wonder, like, how is this happening? Why am I hearing that song? Lately, I've been waking up to the song When I Taste Tequila playing in my head. And it's not that I've been drinking any tequila. I probably just listen to the country station too much and they play the same songs over and over. But I also think there's a line in it about the beauty of Colorado that kind of replays and I can almost smell the mountain fresh air. A few weeks ago, the song that was stuck in my head is one by Leonard Cohen called Hallelujah. The vocalist at a wedding I officiated recently provided a beautiful rendition of it personalized for the bride and the groom. There were parts that mentioned me leading prayer that spoke to me and played over and over in my head. I'm guessing that's why St. Augustine said, those who sing pray twice. Because when we sing a song of praise to God, we're not only singing a prayer, but the words will likely get lodged in us in a more significant way than a simple prayer. And then later in the day, or a few days later, we'll find ourselves humming that song of pray, prayer and praise again. Those who sing, pray twice. Knowing that, I'm sometimes very purposeful in my music choices. For instance, when I need a little lifting up, I ask Alexa to play something like Pharrell Williams' Happy, or it's probably Pharrell Williams. Yeah. 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 <laughs> She's actually playing it. Alexa, turn off. <laughs> the tune makes me smile, and the message reminds me that God wants our joy to be complete. Life can be hard but we're meant to enjoy the beauty of God's creation and the connection we have with each other. So we sing. I've also discovered over the years that making up my own songs is healing and somehow rejuvenating. If you've ever heard me sing, you know I'm no vocalist, but it doesn't matter. The psalmist encourage us, encourages us to make a joyful noise. So that's what I do. I make up a song that would probably just sound like noise to a musician. It's one of the ways I converse with God, sharing my gratitude for the beauty of creation. These are songs I never intend to write down or even replicate. It's just a spontaneous celebration of life in the moment. Those who sing pray twice. I hope you have fun thinking about that, maybe even trying it out. Until next time, be humble, be grateful, be kind.